Okay, so here what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take off the cover of this uh, RAV4 and then we're going to install a kit that makes it possible to um, charge the car uh, conductively by a J1772 outlet. Um, so let's go. It's uh, one off. Uh, we unscrew. We already unplugged the car, so uh, there shouldn't be any um, problems with. Uh, voltage inside but we, we should check So, we take the cover off, I'm going to make a quick measurement, so make sure that that we don't electrocute ourselves. So. Zero point five volts, so that's fine. And then, very simply, we take the kit. The kit has everything on it. Under the kit, uh, you can see there is a rubber substance for isolating it, and two magnets for um, for making sure that it is closed and activates. So there we go. We put it like this, a bit on the side, and then we connect to the DC lead. Uh, I'm just going to connect it to, it's very hard to see, but I'll probably publish the position of the plugging. We're plugging it directly on top of the existing terminal for this demonstration, but uh, to plug it permanently, uh, you need to unscrew the, um, the current connection and then just add the other connection. So here is the plus, and uh, here is the So, and then when we are ready with that, I just make sure that the cable doesn't obstruct anything and just put the plate on top. So, and then we screw the plate with the same screws and I'm just going to use four or five screws just to hold it in place and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere.
So now that we have uh, connected the DC wires, uh, the only thing that we need to do is uh, connect the signal wires. And this is the wiring harness that allows you allows us to kind of plug um, in between the uh, charging uh, charging inlet. So we undo the connection here. So and then we plug the the harness. So. Click, click. Of course, this should actually go. Okay, so um, uh, we had to stop because the battery in the phone died. But uh, we were here uh, where we plug the um, the adapter uh, between the um, charging handle or charging inlet, the old charging inlet, and then we connected the wire behind the the metal here. So we connect this and. Uh, now we are basically ready to charge. So um, I take the uh, charging cable and I'll open up here. And so let's see. Well, it's alive. And the fan started, so it should be charging. We can check the status now with the, uh, there is a Bluetooth um, uh, Bluetooth um, unit in the uh, in the control box, so we can connect to it. And yes, we can see that it is uh, displaying some data, and uh, uh, right now we can see that it is charging with. Um, 2.63 kilowatts. Uh, it's the value over here, 2.60, 2.70 kilowatts. So this display, or, or this is a very simple text display of the parameters from the uh, charger and uh, what commands are sent to the charger, what the ve vehicle or the car is uh, telling us back, uh, and what kind of power it requires. We can see, for example, that uh, currently the state of charge of the pack is 90%. And then we have the virtual charger in itself, which says that it's a two, the state of the charger is two, and then the maximum available power right now is 2.5 kilowatts. Um, these calculations are a bit uh, fuzzy right now, but uh, it works. Wait. Um, no, yeah, oh, well. that's it. Well, this is it. We can now just show how it is stopping the charge. So we just like in normal, uh, uh, when normally charging an electric car with a J1772 uh, inlet, and just press the button, and that cuts the proximity line, which in itself uh, tells the car to stop the charge, and the charge is now stopped. And we can take the handle out. This is it. Thank you.